Hello YouTube, it's Jake and Kyle again, and today we're going to be bringing you the hopefully last part of our uh, Lego engine here. And we've made a lot of progress since the last one. I can't exactly remember what the last video was, but it definitely has changed, um, so we'll start right into it. Uh, here is the system that we're going to use to start it. It's just a pull in and out, um, kind of like a clutch almost for the starter motor, but we tried a bunch of systems. So this was my attempt at uh, making a starter motor. So what I had here was um, a thread. I kind of looked up how you make a starting motor, but so what it was is a thread. And then, um, so if you're familiar with starter motors, when it starts up, it uh, the time, the delay between this rotating and the thread rotating makes it move forward to engage here. Um, which I didn't need it for that, I needed it for the disengage, because if I had the drill hooked straight up to here, um, I'm pretty sure I'd bend some of the stuff inside there, so um, what I needed it for was uh, after it maybe started up, if it did, um, this would keep turning, because it's attached, attached right to the uh, crankshaft, but then this would be disengaged while I could still have the drill engaged. Um, but so it has proven uh, not successful, and this is just the easiest, because uh, if it does actually start, Lego stuff bends, so we want to have something that pulls out. Um, and then over here, I believe this is a new spark system. Um, so the, as it just turns around, there's a pin, or a, not a pinion, a camshaft almost that goes up there, and uh, that's all aligned, so the spark's at the top of the stroke. Um, this is the battery for the um, spark system, or the battery holder. Uh, just 3D printed that, uh, took me a couple minutes. Um, and then here we have a turbocharger and a fuel injector. So the engine's very advanced. Uh, tip of the fuel injector is just um, from some allergy spray thing, but it gives a nice fine mist to show a video of that here. And then to uh, couple the two together, um, almost a carburetor assembly here. I have a 3D printed uh, piece, but it's not perfect, it'll work. Um, and then over here, we have this stuff for the um, fuel injector. This is just some water pump bought off of uh, eBay uh, for eight bucks or something. And then uh, we have a potentiometer, which is nice for the pump because it actually is way less voltage than I was thinking it would need just to get a fine spray into the um, engine. And then here's the 3D printed gas tank, which I believe was in the last video. Um, and so it's turbocharged and fuel injected. What could go wrong? Yeah, but the blower here, I'll show a video of that. It's blowing all of negative five PSI. We have all of negative five PSI in the engine too. So two negatives multiply to get a positive, so it'll positively fit. That's my uh, philosophy on it right now. But uh, the biggest problem probably um, other than realisticness of Legos not being an engine is the flywheel is probably not heavy enough to bring it around um, after the first cycle. Um, the spark system's sketchy. Uh, the timing's very odd, but hopefully we have that all uh, lined up. And uh, Otherwise, it's a pretty nice engine if you look past everything else. So we'll hopefully in the next video be testing it. Um, yeah, because we got it all tuned up here. It's just not warm enough.